Okay, welcome back. What I want to look at today is domestic final circuits. Okay, and that's what I want to look at now. Now, remember that it is important that you are kept, it is important that you refer to the IEE regulations at all times so that you are up to date with current regulations. Okay, that is very important that you remember this. Now, the reason why I stated that is because some of the information you see here may be out of date, but it was relevant at the time. And the idea here, here is that the principle of applying the IE regulations is still paramount and is still relevant to this day. Okay. Now, all I've done here is to look at title of final circuits. Exercise will identify the three types of socket or LED circuits using the on-site guide. Okay, all this is all here just for you to fill in at, at, your, at your ledger. Now, use your on-site guide. You are all familiar with this by now. If not, look it up, find out what it is. Okay, and on-site guide. Okay. You go and take this on so that make sure that we have full frame, okay? And uh, can I go back? Will let me go back for one second just to make sure that uh, yes, okay? And again, just make sure that it's in full view, okay? Okay, good. Now, here is your domestic radio circuit supplying socket outlets, and obviously you will you can have a variation of cables here. Now, here they have chosen to use four millimeters, but we use two point five millimeters cable, which is standard here. Okay. Now, obviously, they may have used four millimeters here, depending as to what load also they're going to be feeding from this but i know that in parts of the world they do use four millimeters okay that is to ensure that you get the maximum allowable voltage drop over a given distance okay but we in the uk we use 2.5 millimeters okay and as you can see that the radio circuits can go on but remember you can only take off the number of sockets or the, or the load to the rating of the fuse or circuit breaker okay do not exceed the rating of your fuse or circuit breaker supply and here with the circuit it's very simple and takes a supply from a consumer unit commonly from either a 20 amp or a 32 amp fuse or circuit breaker well it'll be a 30 30 amp fuse but a 32 amp circuit breaker okay i'm just going to make sure that you have this in view okay okay I noticed that in some of the videos that the heading has been missing, so I want to make sure that the heading is caught in, in play at all times, okay? So, okay. And here we have a ring final circuits. Now, ring final circuits, okay, both the live conductor will come from the same point of this fuse or circuit breaker the neutral should be in the same terminal the earth conductor should be in the same terminal okay all we have done here is that, is that you've got a you could take this as a feed going round going round going round or going going round and coming back to the same point okay it's just been interrupted by these sockets and junction boxes now obviously they've put in a junction box here 
to feed a switch fuel spur. Okay, I call this a switch fuel spur. I'm assuming that this is a switch, but it could be a light. But um, we're not going to argue on that. You, we, you got the gist idea. Protected by the fuse. Okay, so you can only draw this current from this socket here, at rated by that fuse value. So if it's 13 amps or 5 amps, whatever, that's the maximum you would take, be able to take from here. But obviously, it's normally 13 amps, okay? The number of sockets all that's supplied from a FCU is dependent upon the connected load, okay? And that's what it is telling you there, same thing, okay? Okay, that's, I'm just holding it here so that you make sure that it's uh, you can read the information. And also the similar thing here, an unfused spur may be connected to the origin, origin of the circuit in the distribution board. But we don't really do that so much now, okay? Because we have got a ring main circuit already and we can take off the ring main circuit. So again, check with the IE regulations, okay? I don't think this is something we would do now, basically. If we were going to do this, then we, it will simply be a radial circuit. And it would be on its own fuse or circuit breaker. Okay. Now power circuits, cooker circuit. The control device must be double poled and it is always wise to wire the cooker from its own circuit. The control switching device could control two units, hub and oven, but they must be within easy reach with each other. Now, you will notice that this would be at, at the point in time when we used to have the cooker fed by 6 or 10 millimeter cable. I accept that. And that is still possible now as well. But what has happened over time is that we now can basically feed our oven from a 13 amp socket. Because the 13 amp socket will allow us to take, take uh, 4 kilowatts approximately. And you'll now find that most ovens are rated to be 3 kilowatts. 2 kilowatts at the top and 1 kilowatt at the bottom in two, using two elements, okay, basically. But 1 kilowatt is 4, four amps. Uh, let me rephrase that. 1 kilowatt is equal to 4 amps. Okay, and you can work that out for yourself. It's a 13 amp fuse. Okay. Now, shower circuit the side of cable must be matched the current connected load controlled by a double pulse device. Okay, again, shower unit. Remember to look for the modern an up-to-date version of the IE regulation in the show unit. These now will be 10 millimeters, okay? We did used to be doing them in six, but I believe now it's 10 millimeters. Okay. And here is just some accessories chosen for a number of reasons. Some of the reasons will depend on the environmental factors that we considered earlier. Internal switches, these will vary according to the need. External switches, uh, remember if you're dealing with IP 
55 you it must you're looking at water resistant switches etc so again make sure that you're using the right switch in items and that you have the correct ip rating always look up the ip rating you'll find that already in one of my videos in regards to ip ratings okay I believe you can zoom in on that yourself. So let me just zoom back, make sure that we can have it all in view. Okay. Now going. Okay. And back out. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And thank you for your time. And you have a good day. Bye bye for now.